London, there is always something to see. And the most magnificent grandstand of all is at Buckingham Palace. Only once in a lifetime can we hope to see a young queen going forth to her crowning, wearing a diadem and her traditional parliamentary robe of velvet, fur with ermine. But for London and her visitors, there is the constant pageant and splendor, the opening of Parliament, the changing of the guard. For in this city, all that is best of history and pageantry is cherished and preserved. Only a coach ride from Buckingham Palace or by steamer along the Sweet Thames stands Windsor Castle. So proud, so bold, so serene. The best loved home of the Queen, guarded by her soldiers, the Queen's Company of Grenadiers. A company renowned in battle, a company unmatched in ceremonial. The proud home of monarchy, the great castle upon a hill, looks down on the Thames as it flows to the Houses of Parliament and the Tower of London. And behind the castle is Windsor Forest, with its royal rides, its ancient trees. Here it was that the Queen, with her sister Princess Margaret, first learned to ride. A background of tradition, but also of youth and happiness. In London again, the troops of the Royal House of Windsor prepare for their service to their Queen. When Her Majesty is in London, the ceremony of the changing of the guard usually takes place under her windows at Buckingham Palace. At other times, the daily spectacle is enacted at St. James's Palace, where the accession of a new sovereign is proclaimed. The horses of an older chivalry, riders who may go into battle on wheels, but who maintain all the perfections of ceremonial horsemanship. The household cavalry prepares for their day with their proud, shining breastplates. The grace and beauty of horsemanship. The mounted troopers of the household cavalry stand sentry at Horse Guards Parade in Whitehall within sight of the cenotaph. And in London can be heard the stirring music of military bands. The tattoo of the drum major mingles with the throb of London's cheers and the state trumpeters who ride with the Queen on famous occasions. As you walk down the Mall, you may see them, the gleaming cuirasses, the jaunty plumes, the prancing horses. But the pageantry is at its best in early June, the official birthday of the Queen. For then, these men and horses play their part in the magnificent ceremony of the Trooping of the Colour. Behind the grandeur of Buckingham Palace lies this royal muse, the plain, undecorated coach house and stables which serve the royal needs. Here are kept the state coaches, among them this most famed of all, the state coach used by Her Majesty the Queen. The famous emblematic carving and painting done by Cipriani nearly 200 years ago. Liveried postilions, men of great skill gained by years of royal service. The eight walking grooms who accompany the Gold State coach. Their duty is to walk, one at each side of the Windsor Greys, with the crooked walking sticks to keep the traces clear on the turn. 
To the royal coachman, harness and horse flesh are second nature. A royal coach has this, but open to anyone who applies for permission to see. Today is only a rehearsal, but these men and horses have played their part in history. For to them fell the honour of escorting Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth to her coronation at Westminster Abbey on June the 2nd, 1953. Westminster, the noble building which breathes the history of England. Since it was built originally by Edward the Confessor a thousand years ago, the Abbey has seen much, but perhaps nothing so stirring and so exalting as the coronation of the young Queen Elizabeth. we beseech thee this crown, and so sanctify thy servant Elizabeth, upon whose head this day thou dost place it for a sign of royal majesty. By tradition, the people of Great Britain come together to Buckingham Palace to express their feelings. In moments of joy and sorrow, in crisis and in celebration, the people gather before this balcony, members of one great family, the British Commonwealth of Nations. Here is the very heart of the pageantry of London. <laughs> 